to the bill. The gentleman from Florida is recognized for two minutes. I thank the chairman for recognizing me, and uh, I do want to say that this is a uh, has a simple solution to a very important property rights issue in Northwest Florida. Pursuant to 1947 federal deed, Escambia County, Florida was given authority to transfer property on Santa Rosa Island, but could not issue title to that land. Instead, the county began leasing the property to individuals who could pay a lease fee instead of being charged a property tax. Now, in the years since 1947, Pensacola Beach and Navarre Beach have grown into bustling communities and fine tourist destinations. Additionally, numerous pending cases in the judicial system seek to allow local authorities to levy taxes now on those properties that currently are being leased. As a result of these developments, local stakeholders, including both boards of commissioners of Scambia and Santa Rosa County, asked me to introduce this piece of legislation. Mr. Mr. Chairman, this is a fairness issue. It will allow leaseholders the option of attaining fee simple title to their property while also protecting current agreements governing conservation, preservation, public access, and recreation. Additionally, the bill would help ease management of the island by allowing conveyance of certain land currently owned by Escambia County to Santa Rosa County. Now, it's important to note that the bill does not address the issue of property taxes on those properties. It simply seeks to permit leaseholders the option to attain title to their property so that leaseholders and local governments can jointly address any local tax issues that may arise in the future. Contrary to a statement released by the White House yesterday, this bill does not remove any protections from Santa Rosa Island. Rather, it restates those protections that are currently in place with Santa Rosa County and Escambia County that is critical to this barrier island. I also want to take note that this bill in no way affects the right to public beach access, nor does it change the boundaries of the Gulf Islands National Seashore, nor does it negatively impact the mission of the National Park Service. And contrary to what the ranking member said, Escambia County has absolutely no intention of dredging a bay. This is not going to happen. 30 seconds, the gentleman. This is not going to happen. Escambia County is protected on both sides of the land that they have currently now under lease by the National Park Service, the Gulf Island National Seashore. So I urge all of my colleagues to support this common sense bill, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Arizona is recognized.